What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. Um, usually I stay away from like overly sensitive topics, but this is something I wanted to discuss. And the reason why um, I'm bringing it up is because I have been training a couple of people. Uh, I have decided that I am going to take on a few clients. So I have like three that I'm doing the uh, you know weight training plus nutrition and I have two clients that I'm just doing macro coaching basically. Um, and this is both for males and females. I'm finding a very similar thing going on. And it's the obsession with the scale and the weight on the scale. Um, and I don't know how else to say this, but everybody needs to stop focusing on a number on the scale. Um, you know, when people look at me, they see me, I'm probably about 187 pounds right now, 188. And they all think I'm 200 pounds because I have a lot of muscle on me and I've stayed relatively lean. And I used to be very guilty of thinking that I needed to be over 200 pounds to be big or be strong. And I was kind of obsessed that I had to be like, you know, big. And that's what made me, uh, you know, a better bodybuilder or a better, a stronger lifter, which is none of which was true. Um, and like I said, I'm noticing this both in males and females that they're becoming way, way, way too obsessed over the number on the scale. So for instance, I've had clients, you know, I need a measuring stick. So I'll have them step on the scale and they're like, they're fighting me about it. I'm going, you want me to help you recomposition your body, put more muscle on, maybe lose a couple pounds, whatever the case may be, but you won't step on the scale. And I'll ask, well, you know, why? And they're like, well, I have a really negative body image and I associate like how disappointed in myself when I step on the scale and all that kind of stuff. And listen, I completely understand. Um, that when you step on a scale and if you're not happy with the number that you see and you look in the mirror and you're not necessarily happy with what you see, you start to define who you are as a person. Um, it can set some people off into a bad uh, mental state, into depression, into anxiety, um, even into bad relationships with food where they'll then binge because they get so frustrated um, that they just say, well, screw it, I give up. Uh, and they make the situation worse in the end. Um, or they've dropped a couple pounds, have gotten a little successful at it, but they're literally starving themselves with next to no calories and they can't lose any more weight and then they get frustrated by what they're seeing on the scale. Ladies and gentlemen, the number on the scale means nothing except what you put to it. Um, you know, when I step on the scale and I'm only 188 pounds and I stand next to some other, some other guy who's 200, I don't feel intimidated, I don't feel inferior, um, I don't feel weak, I don't feel puny, um, good for them. Uh, you know, if they're bigger than me and they have more muscle on them, great, awesome. But all I'm more concerned about is getting to the goal that I want to get to. So therefore, you know, all I'm concerned about is making strength gains, the hypertrophy gains I want for bodybuilding, and being healthy, having a healthy relationship with food, maintaining a healthy amount of body fat. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to have excessive amounts of body fat on me like I used to. But at the same time, I don't expect, expect myself to relatively, you know, be stage, almost stage lean all year round because that's not healthy either. Um, there is a balance between the two. And what I'm really finding is people need to stop worrying or fearing the number on the scale. It's a number. That's all it is. It's a benchmark to tell you where you are. That's what the reality is. And that's okay. Listen, that doesn't mean you're going to be that number forever. Um, that doesn't mean you're necessarily unhealthy. That doesn't mean, according to societal standards, that you're not attractive or you're or a loser in any way. And that even goes to people who are morbidly obese. If you're looking to make a positive change in your life, listen, you, you have to face the reality of the music of where you are because that's going to help you to get to where you want to be. All right? So when I see females or males starting to struggle with, oh, well, I'm this, or my stomach's a little softer than I want it to be, or it's sitting in my hips, or I can't lose any weight, or, you know, I stepped on the scale and I, and I basically had an emotional breakdown, don't do that to yourself, ever. It's not worth it, all right? So all that number is, is a benchmark as to where you're starting. It's not, it doesn't mean that's where you're stuck at, and it doesn't mean where it's going to be, what you're going to be for the rest of your life. What you do with that number, if anything, use it as motivation to get to where you want to be, but make sure you're thinking long-term, not short-term, and do it the right way, the healthy way, and in a way that's sustainable to your lifestyle. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.